Morning guys. Uh out here uh all the animals. Uh yesterday we had really really heavy strong winds uh pretty much all day and uh they have wreaked havoc on uh my cabin tent that I had back here. Uh yeah, it's just uh ripped it completely apart. Uh which these things aren't made for uh, everyday use, and uh, it's now been up and in use for about seven months now. Uh, but since it's really not doing me any good anymore, uh, it's completely open to the elements. Uh, the door won't close. The door's ripped open. Uh, the rain flies completely ripped apart. Uh, this whole wall is just ripped out. Uh, so I'm going to have to empty it now. Uh, that one's still standing good. It still leaks, so I'll have to still cover my straw and uh, hay and stuff like that in under a tarp. Uh, and I'm putting, I'll show you what I'm doing there. Uh, I've already started moving stuff over, figured I'd go ahead and bring you guys along for the ride but I'm putting pallets in there uh, so that when the water does come in uh, it'll keep everything up off the floor and dry and you can see where it was puddled up in here I just kind of this one's starting to come apart too so I went ahead and cut a couple holes to drain the water out uh, so hopefully it'll be drained here pretty soon but I'm gonna go ahead and start moving stuff out of the the cabin tent and into this one uh, just so I can I'm gonna go ahead and tear it down and you can see here I got a bunch of pallets so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tear this this cabin tent down and I'm gonna use those pallets and I'm gonna start building uh, another building here for uh, like a kind of half halfway uh, a barn uh, would be uh, probably start off with just a, a rabbit house. I want to get the rabbits in uh, enclosed so and out of the elements for the winter. Uh, so I'm going to start with that, but it's also going to be big enough to keep my uh, tools and feed, uh, straw and hay and all that in, uh, and keep all that stuff dry and out of the elements. So that's the plan. For today is to empty this tent out uh, into this tent and then uh, and then I can tear it down uh, and start laying out uh, where the new building is going to be uh, it'll probably actually be about the same size of what this tent is uh, I think the tents a 12 by 12 uh, I might go a little bit longer I'm not sure but uh, we'll see we'll see how it goes but I'll bring you guys along for the ride. Uh, this will probably end up being a, uh, maybe a two-part video, because uh, otherwise it'll be probably too long. But I'll check back with y'all in a little bit. I'm gonna keep going. See you in a bit.
everything's covered in straw. Got some uh, new hay to try with the, the rabbits. Got uh, alfalfa, some brome, and uh, we just finished off a bag of uh, prairie grass, uh, which they seem to really like that prairie grass. So we'll see how they do with these. Uh, the feed store actually let me fill these bags. Uh, they didn't charge me nothing. They just gave me three bags, told me to fill them up, test them, and see which one, uh, which ones the, the rabbits actually eat. Because I bought some Timothy hay. Uh, I got a whole bale of it, and they uh, they just threw it out of the cage onto the onto the ground. So uh, they said since I apparently have some picky rabbits. Uh, to try these, see which ones they actually eat. Uh, that way I don't waste my money on another bale of hay that they're not going to use. So, yeah. Let's see how it goes. And then this is full of their feed, their pellets. down to put my tools on now. Whew. All right, got it all emptied out. Uh, now I just got to tear it down. So, well, I've still got, I don't know, there's a bunch of like leftover straw and uh, some cardboard stuff that was trash. Uh, it's all burnable that's in there. So, uh, just gonna throw the whole tent and everything on the burn pile and uh, just get rid of it that way. No sense in uh, putting it all in a trash bag and hauling it off anywhere. Uh, the whole thing should burn. Uh, except maybe the zippers and stuff like that. If I can dig that out later. I don't know. Let me know in the comment. Can you reuse? Uh, zippers? I don't know. Probably not, but uh, let me know if you know the answer. So much for tying this thing all off. Didn't do it any good. This was basically how I did my uh, uh, little curtain. Keep the sun off the rabbits, which it didn't do any good. Well, I should cut all this rope off so I can keep it. These uh, tie down strings, probably keep those. That'd be good for something. I always need cordage, right? I always have, I always need good cordage. Yeah, I think I'll do that. I think I'll keep all this. I go around and cut all the strings off, and then uh, tear it down and burn the rest. I cut out the screens too. Oh, uh, they're pretty bad shape though. So there's the tent. I just got it all torn down. It's on the burn pile. Some more mullein growing. Got so much of that stuff everywhere. Uh, so yeah, so I've got everything inside the red tent now. A few, few, few things still scattered out that I need to get picked up and find a, a home for. But, uh, yeah, got straw, got uh, chicken, chicken food, and uh, a couple other uh, 
seeds for, uh, I've got some uh, wheat and barley seed in there as well for uh, fodder, for growing fodder. And then I've got rabbit food right there. Got all my tools on this side uh, and some random stuff as well. Uh, got a, that there what Brutus is smelling. Uh, that tote has uh, some feeder corn in it for the wildlife. And, uh, and I got some random dog toys and stuff in there. But yeah, so put everything in there. The tent's all picked up. I still got full. I cut off all the strings so it has some extra cordage for whatever I might need it for. So this is where I'm going to start putting pallets out and uh, kind of laying this out to get started on a building. It's not exactly as level as I want it to be, so I don't know how I'm going to pull that off on getting that all squared away, but uh, got some work to do, I know that. So, that's, that's done. I also got to get a tarp wrapped around them so that uh, to block some more of the wind off of them, keep them a little, a little warmer at night. Uh, and I still need to build a, a hutch for the four females, uh, and that way I could do the same thing with them. But, uh, yeah, so that'll probably be the rest of the day. I'll probably spend doing that. Uh, I may just even take that uh, curtain, that uh, zero, uh, zero daylight, whatever uh, curtain. I got two of them. I may just wrap those around and staple them. Uh, to block some of that wind off of them for now until I can go into town and get another tarp uh, yeah that's the plan for now guys I'm gonna try to figure out how to lay this out and maybe uh, I may have to do some digging to get it level uh, I know I'm gonna have to dig a trench to drain the water away from it uh, yeah so I'll check back in with you guys in a little while Thanks for watching. Whew. Okay, so here's where I'm at. I've got uh, just about uh, 18 by 10 foot uh, right now. I'm actually uh, got to dig through some more of my pile over there. See if I can find uh, two more pallets the same size as these. Uh, and then I'll go out another four feet on each wall. Uh, and then, yeah, and then I can start on the front wall here. Oh, well, there's the bunnies. I got to move them out of the way at some point. But, uh, yeah, that's the start of the barn. Uh, pallet, a lot of free pallets, uh, that were just going to be burned instead of recycled. So I'm putting them to use. And uh, that's where I'm at. So it looks like it'll be probably about uh, 18 by 14. Uh, and then I'll be doing uh, another row of pallets over these. So the uh, ceiling inside the cabin will probably uh, be roughly about oh, uh, 8 feet or so. Uh, yeah. Well, I say ceiling. There's not really going to be a ceiling. I'm going to put a slant roof on so I can collect water off of it uh, for the animals and garden and all that. Uh, but yeah, that's where I'm at. Uh, Got to keep digging. Uh, I'm going to go charge my phone up. And I will probably get back on this tomorrow, honestly. So I'll check in with you guys in a little while.